2023. Neda Tenebono Isibanjo deserves a PC ticket. Banire, welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post her juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Former National Legal Advisor of the All Progressive Congress, APC Dr. Moise Banire, has ruled out Vice President Yemo Sibanjo and Asiwaji Bola Tenembo from the 2023 presidential race. People have come out from every region of Nigeria, some to give the support to, you know, the Vice President himself and um, the Jagaban of Lagos. Some people have done that. having their own reasons, you know, to come out to say what, whatever they have to say. Some have said age. Some have said they're recycled people. They're the same people at the end of the day. Let's find out what exactly he is going to be referring to by saying this. The news in detail, please stay with us. Speaking in an interview on Radio Now, Bani Ray said he has no issue with aspiration because it is within the right to do so. However, Bani Ray, former commissioner under Tenembo, said he was not aware of the ambition of his former boss. He said, apart from the purported declaration at the villa in which he has said he only came to inform the president, but I am still doing consultations, I am not aware. As far as I'm concerned, that he's contesting, and as of now that you're talking, I am not aware. He, however, declared that Tenembo's decision is to contest is legitimate. It is very legitimate, all of them. The more, the merrier. We need more people, but for me, if you ask me, you know I will always support the younger ones. I prefer the younger ones for obvious reasons, he said. Bani Ray also backed rotation and zoning of the presidency to the south, saying if it, is, it will be microzone, south Asia should produce the next president. According to him, the south has suffered enough marginalization in Nigeria's political firmament. He said, I must confess to you, up to about two years ago, I was not for zoning. I was for competence and merit, but because of certain development that I noticed at the country, particularly the unfairness and injustice in the country, I felt there was a need for other regions to partake in it. So I am more in favor of power shifting to the south now. If you ask me about microzoning, I might be beaten up because my tendency will be more in favor of southeast on point of equity. My tendency will be for them because if you look at all the analysis, we have oppressed these people too much. Go and look at the hierarchy of all people occupying all the various positions in this country today. Before it gets to the southeastern people, it is a long way. Baniri added that any other zone in the south can become the president if the southeast is not ready. Not a problem at all. Any other zone in the south can take it. Any other zone can take it. Hmm. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, he, he he came out to say things as clearly as it is. Uh, he did not mean his word. He did not quote it. To be very sincere, I love the fact that he came out. Number one, we don't we need somebody um, younger, uh, you know, for competency for this. But it would have been better. It would have soothed these people's wounds in the southeastern region for you know for it for the presidency to come from that particular side. Let's see what and not how watch how it plays out. But sincerely, it would have been a very soothing balm. That will soothe, you know, all the pain and all the frustrations of the southeastern region. Zeke and Iran say threw us into this mess when they erroneously believed the Igbos are destined to rule Africa, not only Nigeria. They dismantled the regional the government by their greed. When they feel they consulted to senseless Biafra, the gods are not happy with them, and therefore they cannot rule this nation again. Says who now? <laughs> A guy you are saying your own, no. They will come for you, sincerely. They will come for you. There is nobody that is, that um, is not uh, there is nobody that is not fit or you should you should be saying they cannot rule Nigeria again. There is no particular region. Each region has as much, has as much right as every other region in Nigeria. When the wise speaks, the God listen. A word of advice has been given. It is left for <laughs> if it's left for those involved to make use of it. Southwest has nothing to offer anymore, if not greed and selfishness. It is unimaginable for a zone that produced vice president to be just like the one that can rule too. <laughs> this person is really, really at it. It's just like around like a toad in the mud water. Tenembo is very close to, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. 
what are you saying to the Jagaband of Cor well i'm supporting his uh, i'm supporting his stand Shintelli. i'm supporting the stand this is just trash talk no one is preventing any zone from contesting but you don't ask someone who has sleeper for something to leave his sleeper for you like that nobody is saying they should leave his i don't think people don't see things from uh -uh. you come out with the intention to just attack you don't uh, listen to what he says he said this is the right, but if you were to say, you know, yes, they are free. He has also said it is the right to come out, in fact, and it is their constitutional right to come out and contest. But he said in the spirit of fairness and equity, come on. Uh -uh. Hey, why do people like in the bosky like this? Can you leave your chamber for anyone to inherit now in your lifetime? Exactly. This thing you said, we can also twist it. So Nigeria should leave their chambers to be inherited by someone just because the person was nice to generations before. Like is, that is exactly how I'm saying it right now. This is not a talk of living for someone should stop. Let everyone come show and show their worth. Mm -hmm. For the sake of equity among political parties, can you now ask a negotiator to submit all their structures and labor to APC, for example, in the next governorship election? Mm -hmm. Okay. Every single Nigeria knows the truth. Exactly. And to say the fact, Bani, you have said the fact without fear. Sincerely, I love his approach. I love the way he don't mince word up. Sincerely, this is what we want. We want, yes, we want competency and merit. Even me, even till now. But the thing is, the competency and merit is also in every region. So we cannot say, oh, because we want It is also in every region. Yes, the ones um, coming out to contest for presidency they are not wrong they're actually right they are, it is in their right to come out to contest but because the country needs unity now and if you don't take time this thing we are talking about this election we're talking about might not even hold yes it might not hold it might not hold because of crisis so why don't you know the stitch in, 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 in time saves nine why don't we just teach in time I salute your courageous and unbiased take concerning this very serious matter. Thanks a million times. This is a very serious matter. And that if, as Nigerians, we fail to handle carefully without fear or favor, God forbid, peace may lead us after 2023. We may not have a country left after 2023. If we claim to be one Nigeria, this is the time to prove it. Exactly. If it's South East turn to produce the next president of Come Nigeria 2023 for equity, peace, and harmony. Okay, and this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.